which, which relates to the next question I want to ask you, and it's been in the news a lot. It's clearly a significant element in U.S.-Pakistan relationships, and that's what you refer to as well, the, the uh, ongoing Afghan peace process and uh, the possibilities uh, that we might actually have some breakthroughs. Is, and building on what you just said, um, are, is, is the Pakistan government uh, able and willing to, to make the, the commitments to really m help move these dialogues forward, especially in the event that the Taliban and the Af and Afghan government aren't able to get a meeting organized? Uh, it's just for people's benefit. Uh, the, the fear amongst the Pakistan military establishment was always that there would be a two-front situation. So there would be, you know, the Eastern Front, which is India. And then if Afghanistan was also um, uh, in the Indian sphere of influence, then Pakistan would be sandwiched between these two. And so this was always the worry about the Pakistan military establishment, and which is why they wanted what was called the strategic depth. But this has changed. Today, there is no concept in Pakistan of strategic depth because we feel that by interfering in Afghanistan in order to secure the strategic depth, we have actually done a lot of damage to our own country and mm -hmm. for no rhyme or reason, we have become partisan uh, in Afghanistan's internal affairs. Now, and I speak for Pakistan army because you know, normally there was that, you know, there's a, a Pakistan army is this independent entity and you know, the governments have no control over it. I can sit here and tell you that I speak, as I speak, the Pakistan army is exactly behind the government's program. Whatever our policies from day one, we've arrived peace with India, they were behind. When I decided to release the Indian pilot who had been shot down in Pakistan, uh, the army was right behind me. So I speak, to, we today speak as, uh, you know, that there's no difference between the, the policies of the Pakistan security forces or the Pakistan's democratic government. And we believe that we should not ever interfere in the internal affairs of Afghanistan. Let the Afghans decide what they want, what sort of government they want, and we should facilitate the peace process. So this is the big difference now. Okay. We are all on the same page, and fortunately now that the United States is on the same page too.